Judge, before you bring in the jury, may I address the court? My name is Zach Rosenberg. I represent Danielle Woodard. I filed a motion for protective order in this matter. Judge, she's a prospective witness, and I think we could probably address that after our opening. Okay. Um, sir, I, this is the first time hearing about this. Um, you, you can have a seat for now, please. so that I don't have to bring the jury in and out okay. more than once. L let me hear from this gentleman. I, I don't know why I'm being presented. Counsel, come on up. I, I don't know why I'm being presented this on the morning of the testimony when this has been planned for weeks or months. But what? It, good morning. If you could just briefly tell me what, what it is that you want to say. My name is Zach Rosenberg. I represent Danielle Woodard. I was appointed on the 12th of August. I met with her on Friday. After that meeting, I filed two subsequent motions, one in the Miami-Dade case and one in this case, Judge. This morning, I was advised that she has hired prospective other counsel. A notice of appearance has been filed. Substitution of counsel has not been filed, Judge. Okay, but what does this have to do with my case? My case is the state of Florida versus Nicholas Cruz. Your, your client is listed as a witness. What does this have to do with me? This the motion presented in the Miami case. There was a motion for protective order e-filed in this matter on Friday, Judge. I have a copy for the court. It was provided to counsel on both sides. Counsel, if you're appointed to her on the 12th, why did you file it on Friday? I was only made aware that this hearing was happening uh, due to an act of God, Judge. It was through God that, that, that my YouTube algorithm let me know that this was happening. I never received any notice well, of what, any sort. What was happening? That Ms. Woodard would be testifying. I was appointed on the 12th. Went to meet with her on Thursday. Was it, I was informed she was in Broward County. Counsel, it was in the newspaper a couple of weeks ago. In fact, I believe that's why her prior <coughs> counsel withdrew. I was not privy to any of that. I received no notice to be here. No subpoena myself, Judge. I did what I could as soon as I could to put the court and counsel aware of the situation. On notice. Okay, so what are you asking me to do? To grant my motion for protective order. It's not in the court file. I did not receive a courtesy copy. I haven't even seen it. I tried to put this on your radar as soon as I could this morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. very vague. What, what exactly are you asking me to protect her from? <clears throat> Judge, when I met with her on Friday, I had a specific conversation and plans with her. If she has hired other counsel, that's another issue that I think needs to be resolved prior to not her by testifying. Me, not by me. If you're her counsel of record and the judge in Miami has not ordered any kind of substitution, you're the, you're the attorney of record, and I'm going to hear you briefly, and, and that's it. We're not going to be fighting about who's representing her in, in this court. So, Judge, competency was raised in the Miami-Dade case. So, first and foremost, I don't know whether or not it's proper for her to testify at all in this matter. I question the, the decision to call her. Okay, Further competency more, to testify as a witness is a much lower standard than competency to proceed as a defendant and an accused, and I'm sure you're aware of that. Furthermore, Judge, she has significant Fifth Amendment issues at hand, and due to the issues raised in the protective order, uh, they're more complex than the typical Fifth Amendment issue. Wait, well, if she wants to assert her Fifth Amendment, Amendment privilege, that's, that's her prerogative, and if you've advised her of that, then I'm assuming she knows what 
when to assert that privilege <coughs> under your uh, advice. Yes, Judge, and I will be asking to speak with my client uh, as she's asked questions to advise her on her Fifth Amendment rights. Because <coughs> either side want to be heard as to that issue. Judge, the, the questions in that protective order regarding, um, he's asking that we not be asking her any questions about her specific, any specific mental health diagnosis she's been given and any medications. I do not intend to ask her any of those questions. Um, he was presented, and I know the court doesn't want to deal with this, but I do want the record to reflect that um, <clears throat> he was presented with a stipulation and he refused to sign it, regardless of what the judge in Miami would or wouldn't do. Um, I have spoken to Ms. Woodard. She wants to testify. She knows. I mean, she's spoken to both of her lawyers now, or the prospective one, the current one, um, and I have no no concerns about her competency, at least to be a witness. Um, and if she has a, an issue with a question as to that, he can stay here. And if the court wants to allow him to speak with her, that's fine. State, do you want to be heard? Uh, only to the extent, Your Honor, that we don't know at this point. We haven't heard her testimony as to what <laughs> questions we may or may not answer, but we understand she can always assert a Fifth Amendment right. Okay, counsel, um, your motion for protective order is denied. I think that the Fifth, Fifth Amendment privilege that your client may or may not have is her privilege to assert if she so chooses. Um, based on the fact that you, you've uh, indicated you've had an in-depth discussion with her as recent as Friday, I'm also denying your motion to sit with her during her testimony. If I have a concern as to her competency, uh, it's my job to, to deal with that as it comes. Understood, Judge. I will be renewing my request. Okay, thank you. Can you bring the jury? Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 